Hello, what is up? It's Lock Rules here. Welcome to a cool series I've decided to make. How to tutorials for building in Minecraft. Today I'm going to be starting with a very basic house and building a super easy starter house in survival Minecraft. This is just meant to be a more visually appealing house. You can make it super quickly into the game rather than, you know, the ugly dirt or wooden 4x4 houses that everyone seems to make. Um, this here is all the resources you will need to make the house. All you need to do is find an area of sand, cut down a few trees, and you can make a cool looking house that doesn't just look like any standard, you know, basic house that everyone else seems to make. Making sandstone is really, really easy. You just need to get four pieces of sand and put it into a crafting bench or just in your four, oh, sorry, two by two crafting area and you can make a block of sandstone nice and easy. I farmed all the resources myself and I've overcompensated a little bit as I know I'm gonna make a few mistakes. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Right, so we're gonna go find a nice area to build on. And I'm gonna to go to this area here. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven across. Then we're gonna skip two blocks and we're gonna place one glass, this one, three, and we're gonna go block here. And we're gonna go back one, two, three four five six seven eight so there's two blocks away from there one block away from there okay and once we've done that we're going to go across five we're going to go one block back one two three four five and then we're going to place another block and we're going to go back seven one two three four five six seven so there should be a block here two blocks here and over here, there should be one block, and then those two should be in line. You should have something a little bit like that. So once you've done that, we're going to need to put a little bit of height into it. So we're going to make a quick little door here. And then on the right side, we're going to go up by four. And we're going to go up by five on the rest. I'm just going to skip into it a little bit, because I don't think you're going to want to watch me building all of this. Ta-da! And you should end up with something like this. Or, here's one I made earlier, as I used to say on Blue Pizza. Now, I'm going to try and get rid of the, um, the dirt that's in front of the house. It doesn't look visually appealing, and we can't really see very well what we're making. You probably noticed as well that I haven't actually done the wall here. And that's because I plan to make it into a glass wall, which I'm going to do now. And then we can start work on making the roof. And build that up and it's started to take a little bit of shape now so we're going to start with our roof at this point and we're going to cut away here so this here we're going to go out three and have this go across over to here and let's build it out like that so it cuts through into the glass and then we're gonna to have to climb up so dig our way back up and we're gonna do the roof at the top okay so we want it to extend out slightly and it started to rain Made a mistake. Oh no. I did over exaggerate how many blocks would be needed because I knew there was going to be mistakes like this which will be made. I'm using shift so I don't fall down. And there we go, I made another mistake. Nearly running out of these blocks. It's okay, because I've got three stacks of them. Ah. Okay, what I'll do is I'll go back at the end and I'll get rid of all of that. A bonus to using wooden slabs as well is monsters can't actually spawn in your roof as they do not spawn on slabs. That is definitely an added advantage if you're making a house in survival. 
Uh, I mean, I mean, you're not going to get that with you know normal blocks or stair blocks. So, I mean, for a starter house, I mean, I, I think using slabs is probably better than any other resource. Okay, and that's the roof pretty much done at this point. Um, it's overextended one there. And if we go to the back, two, one. It's overextended onto this bit here. Luckily, it's now stopped raining. If we come round to the back of the house, and we start working on the roof. Oh, yep, just about <laughs> reaching it. There we go. And we'll just continue this all the way along here. And we'll stop there. Stop there. And we'll come around to this side and we'll pull this across. And we'll stop one block from the end. So it's as if it's now cut through the sandstone. And we'll continue over here. And we'll start working on this here. So we'll build two in here. We'll build that up. And then we'll go one across, one across. And we'll build a pillar up here. And then we'll make another entrance. We'll fill all of this with glass. And then we'll continue. Oh dear, I've made another mistake. Doesn't really matter. Just destroy that. And continue on. Ah. All these mistakes. Doesn't matter really. I'll just come back and I'll get that at the end. And we'll stop there. We won't continue around. Um thinking about it now. <laughs> I can't find it. There we go. So that there is the back. Oh, I forgot to do this bit here. We'll make this into just a, a wall and we'll put a piece of glass in there. So there's the back of the house and we'll just take a run around to the front. And there's the front of the house. And um, let's go do a bit more detail inside. So we're going to go get our oak slabs. And can I get out the bed from the chest? Can't even find the chest. I'll get all of this. Put the bed there. I'm not going to need all of this, I hope. I'll keep that because I'm bound to make a mistake or two. Definitely going to need the doors. Um, probably not going to need that anymore. And let's go inside. Oh, no, we're definitely going to need an eye. There we go. Okay. So we'll start getting rid of all of this, and we're going to place oak planks instead. We're going to want to cut through into here. We're probably not going to need a door, because it is inside. Um, just bring it through. And then we just replace all of this. Okay, and go ahead and place a couple of beds. And then we'll destroy the planks underneath. And we'll get the chests, which I already had in my second slot. Try to find them and just place them underneath. And that just saves a lot of room. Um, and then we'll light the place up. This is the first room. We're coming into here. Um, thinking about it, I will. That looks a bit better. Um, and then. We can put some furnaces, some chests, and we've also got that. So we'll have a furnace either side, chest in the middle, and then we'll have a couple of chests on top. And we'll just put a torch 
just nice and simple. We don't need a lot at this point. Um, at this point in the game, I don't have very much that I can put in. Close the door. Close the door here. And there we have it. Um, actually, I'm gonna go up there and I'm just gonna finish it off because I feel like we need to put some planks at the very top there in this layer. And I've just run out. Oh no, there we go. Got a bit worried then. And that is as simple as it needs to be. Very, very simple, perfect starter house. Um, I mean, you can put a bit more details in, but I mean, I didn't even use up all of those resources. I thought I was gonna use them up. That was just an estimate. Very, very simple. Um, you start with a few trees behind you and a bit of sand and you can make quite a nice looking starter house. It doesn't just look like another one of those dirt or oak wood houses. There's a bit more detail, it's a bit more stylish. Thank you for watching.